Experiment to measure the relative molecular mass of a volatile liquid. In this experiment, we are going to measure the relative molecular mass of a volatile liquid. The most accurate method of measuring relative molecular masses is using a mass spectrometer. However, since mass spectrometers are not usually available in school laboratories, we will use a simpler method to measure relative molecular mass. In this method, we will fill a flask with the vapour of a volatile liquid at a known temperature. We will then find the mass of this vapour and, by calculation, we will find the volume that this vapour would occupy at STP. We will then calculate what the mass of 22,400 centimetres cubed of this vapour would be at STP. This is the relative molecular mass of the liquid. Take a clean, dry conical flask, a rubber band and a piece of aluminium foil large enough to make a cap for the conical flask. Place the conical flask, rubber band and aluminium foil on the balance and find their mass. Write down the mass in your notebook. Using a graduated cylinder, pour 10 centimetres cubed of the volatile liquid into the conical flask. In this case, we are going to measure the relative molecular mass of cyclohexane. Put the aluminium foil over the mouth of the flask, press it down over the sides and hold it in place tightly using the rubber band. Using a pin, make a very small hole in the aluminium foil cap. Clamp the flask in a large beaker of boiling water. Try to ensure that as much as possible of the flask is covered by the boiling water. The purpose of the boiling water is to convert the volatile liquid to a vapour. The air is expelled from the flask which is then filled with the vapour of the liquid. Any excess vapour escapes from the flask through the pinhole. Leave the flask in the boiling water for about 8 minutes. This ensures that all the liquid has vaporised. The flask is now full of the vapour of the liquid at 100 degrees Celsius, the temperature of the boiling water, and at the atmospheric pressure of today. Note this temperature and convert degrees Celsius to Kelvin. Remove the flask from the boiling water and allow it to cool to room temperature. As it cools, observe that the vapour inside the flask is condensing back to a liquid. Dry the outside of the flask and foil. Reweigh the flask, foil and band to find the mass of the liquid whose vapour has filled the flask. Now we will find the total volume of the conical flask. Fill the conical flask completely with water.
For accuracy, we will pour the water into a 100 centimeters cubed graduated cylinder. One hundred centimeters cubed. Two hundred centimeters cubed. Three hundred centimeters cubed. The total volume of the conical flask is three hundred and twenty five centimeters cubed. Record the atmospheric pressure by taking a reading from a barometer. With the help of the worked example in your textbook, calculate the relative molecular mass of the cyclohexane. Compare your result with the expected result and comment on any sources of error in the experiment. This concludes the experiment. <laughs>